FeatureCam's 2.5D milling module is perfect for programming common machining features such as pockets, bosses, holes, and slots. I'll get started on this part by going to my steps view over here in the toolbox and this gives me a nice logical order for programming the part. The first step is my stock where I can give my stock shape and size. I can select the stock material and this will generate my feeds and speeds for me. Decide whether or not to use indexing and locate program zero. So I'll click finish in this wizard to get to the properties. I can always come back to these properties at any time to make changes. The next step is to either import or draw my geometry. So I'll draw the geometry using FeatureCam's geometry constructors. Now if you have a drawing, you can enter the numbers down in this area right here directly from the drawing, or as in this case, I'm snapping in the geometry to quickly and easily create parametric geometry. Once the geometry is defined, I'll go to my next step, which is creating curves. And these curves will put nice one-piece profiles around this geometry. Then I can use these profiles for creating features, which is the next step. And that's really what FeatureCam is all about. I simply define the feature, and FeatureCam does the rest. So there are a couple types in here. From dimensions are features that I can just describe, or I can use this curve I just created to create a variety of different features from curves. I'll call this a pocket and click Next. Once again, you'll see the feature cam is very wizard driven. I'll just go through the wizard and answer questions, such as the curve name, where the feature is located relative to the curve, and you can see that I can manipulate my views while I'm in the wizard, give it some dimensions, decide on what kind of strategy I want to use to program this feature, and click Finish. FeatureCam does the rest. It creates for me my tool list, decides on my speeds and feeds, step overs, ramping style, everything I need to create this feature. And you can see the simulation right there. I can also run a 3D simulation to get a more realistic view of what the part will look like. Once I've run my simulation, I can open my results window to see my op list a details list including a runtime, a tool list that I can output in a variety of formats, and most importantly my NC code. Now not every feature type has to be drawn. As I mentioned a minute ago, I can also create features from dimensions. So I can simply define other features by their description. I'll go in and I'll make a tapped hole, and for my standard threads, I'll select a half 13 tapped hole. Verify the dimensions, give it a location, verify the strategy, and click finish. And again, FeatureCam does the rest. You can see here on the right side, I have a spot drill, drill, and tap for that tapped hole. FeatureCam 2.5D also supports 4th axis indexing and wrapping. FeatureCam 2.5D also offers multiple fixture programming as well. 